Well, hey there guys, it's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. Okay guys, so in this video, I just wanna talk about some things that's going on in my 125 gallon tank. I think it's been a while since I've made a proper update video for this aquarium. I still have my angelfish in here in good health. They're still doing fine. Um, I still got my Philippine Blue. I still have my new koi's. I still got my silvers. Um, I also have uh, silver angelfish from Petco um, and he's been in the tank for the longest time and they're all doing well um, I've been so busy with the other tanks though that I just haven't really been taking care of this tank like I used to um, I mean the plants are melting I'm not dosing it um, I mean a lot of algae is also growing in there as well it's just it's it's really sad looking and but that's that's temporary though I mean that's just for right now I mean eventually I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna clean the tank it's just that uh, this tank it gets dirty so fast and sometimes I just get overwhelmed with all my tanks and to everybody out there you know who wants to get into this hobby um, you know enjoy fish keeping but just remember that you know eventually you're gonna get so deep into keeping fish that you're gonna want this tank you're gonna to want to set up that tank and eventually you're gonna have a bunch of tanks and then you're gonna forget that you actually have to clean these tanks and actually have to do work and uh, then it all hits you and then you're like man it takes a lot of time out of my day just to keep up with these guys but for me it's always worth it but right now that's that's where I'm at I'm just like you know I don't really have the time right now to take care of my 125 but um, I know eventually I'll go in there and I'll give it a really good cleaning. As you can see, the Anubius leaves are just brown. Um, and what I like about my channel is that I can tell you guys, I can show you guys my aquarium when it's doing bad. And it's not a big deal to me because I know, you know, the next few days or whatever, I'm going to go in there and clean it. Um, but the most important thing is, is that all my fish are doing well. Uh, my Garamis are doing good. They've, they've, beefed up in size um, they just they're so stocky now and I really like them they're really cute little guys um, and the 125 gallon tank they actually do grow pretty big but my Corydora I don't know what's going on with this guy he just he has something weird going on on his back and I mentioned this in a live stream about two weeks ago and two weeks ago I thought it would go away um, but it hasn't, it hasn't, it doesn't really look like it's affecting him too much because he's still, you know, he's still active. He still goes around and swims and he'll eat when it's feeding time. It doesn't seem like it's bothering him too much, but it definitely doesn't look good. Um, I'm definitely going to start medicating with Malafix and Pimafix. Hopefully all of that will take care of the boo-boo on my Corridora and i just hate seeing him like this but also i'm thankful that you know he's still eating he's still swimming he's still active um and he's still fat he's still fat <laughs> he's pretty big he, he's he's at a healthy size um i did have four of these guys um i lost about three i'm not sure what happened um i think i might have overdosed on xl at that time and that was before I switched over to the Nikolai um, liquid fertilizer. Um, but he survived, and uh, he's been he's been with me for a long time. So he's a trooper. He's definitely a survivor. And uh, I think I'm going to have him for a lot longer. Um, eventually, I'm going to get more Corydoras. Right now, I'm just in the process of getting everything moved around and set up because I'm about to start a new project. And uh, hopefully I can start that soon. Um, I'll be talking more about that um, in more later videos. Um, but if you guys know what's on this Corydora, please let me know. Because I've tried Googling, Googling it. I've gotten different answers on it. But, I mean, he's going through the substrate, you know, looking for food and stuff like that. So it doesn't seem to be bothering him too much. Um, is this normal with Corydoras? Um, if anybody here is an expert... On keeping these guys let me know if you've ever seen this on your Corridora 
Um, I also want to mention that Black Angelfish is doing great. You know, he's fine. He's healthy. And I don't know why, but he actually looks a lot better in person than he does on camera. He's a really good looking angelfish. I also still have my koi angelfish. They're doing great as well. And uh, it's been a while since, uh, man, I can't remember the last time I've shown you guys uh, my, my angelfish in my 125 gallon tank. But what I like to do is when I show off this tank is I also like to show them you know eating uh, I want to show you um, what they're like when it's feeding time and how active they are and uh, that's what I'll do here in a few seconds but they still like to hide around the driftwood you know they still like to um, just hang out underneath it and just just chill really they're mainly on the left side of the aquarium they don't really go too much to the right I mean on the right side of the aquarium there's not really too much except for some crypt plants that are not doing so well um, I need to start dosing some more in this tank, but, uh, I'm really just trying to take care of the baby angels in my 75 gallon tank. That's what I'm really doing. Um, just making sure that they don't die off on me. And I think I'm coming to a point where things are going great. And I'll also be updating you guys on those babies pretty soon. But, uh, I still got the stack of rocks underneath the driftwood those rocks are actually weighing down that driftwood because that thing did not want to sink for the longest time for the longest time that thing was afloat and it just did not want to stay put underneath the surface of the water and this is my plant from a plant that abuse plants sent me i believe this is called the skeleton skeleton key plant um and it's a really nice plant that they have but um, it's just covered in algae right now, which I've mentioned previously in this video. A lot of things are being covered in algae. I'll find a solution for that pretty soon. Um, it's just it's so much easier when the algae is on the glass. It's easier to clean. So this is what they're like currently when it's feeding time. Um, I love to feed them blood worms. I just throw the whole cube in there, frozen. Don't even defrost it. Um, clean it. There's a lot of different ways to feed your angelfish blood worms, but I decided I'm just going to start tossing them in and just let them fight for it. That's what they usually like to do. Uh, this time they weren't super excited about the blood worms. I'm not sure why. Either that or they're just really oblivious to where it just went because I've never seen them not devour a cube of blood worms in less than 30 seconds but this time you know it took them a while to find out that it's been fumbled and dropped by the crypts down below and then one of the silver platinums eventually finds it and uh, picks it up and then drops it again and then the philippine blue sees it but hesitates to kind of go for it so i don't know if maybe they just didn't like that cube of blood worms I've, i have had those blood worms for a few months now so they're probably not as fresh um, I might have to get a new stock of red blood worms, but they did end up finishing that. And I'm also surprised the Garamis didn't go for it as well because they're usually the first one in on the action when it's feeding time. They usually love to go for the blood worms, but they're nowhere in sight with the blood worm in the aquarium water in the in the aquarium. Um, mainly the Philippine blues, and you can see the silver angelfish in the background just chowing, chowing down on it that's actually the silver angelfish from petco and he's grown pretty big um i made a video about that petco angelfish in a video called five dollar uh petco fish versus 120 dollar fish link is down below in the description if you guys want to check out that video um and i'm just loving this tank it's just it's it's absolutely fantastic and there's a lot of um, things to come for this aquarium I just got to get it cleaned up I just really wanted to update you guys real quick on this tank because I just felt like I haven't talked about I haven't talked about this tank in quite some time and you know I, I saw this on my Corydora you know two weeks later when I first mentioned it in a live stream and I'm just still surprised that it's still there um, because I thought it would just go away you know the tank is the water quality is good so I just don't know why my Corydora would develop some sort of disease like that but I'm gonna try really hard and take your guys advice I'm gonna wait and see what 
um, a lot of you say in the comment section as to what that is and then um, I might you know do what some of you guys say because I know some of you guys have a lot more experience in treating fish with medications than I do because I usually don't do medications I usually just do a water change and lots of water change to try to get rid of internal um, diseases and you know anything wrong with angelfish my my answer was a water change so I think I need uh, some advice on this one though hopefully you guys can help anyways that's the update for this video my name is Master Aquatics and I'll see you guys in the next video take care and bye Thank you, young God, for the blessing, ayy. Hey.